Good morning, everyone. This is our presentation video, and we have four people in our group, which is Alex, Yiliang, Jaya, and me, Chiming. And we are going to present our experiment one, which is heat pump. First of all, I will talking about the objective of this experiment. We are going to study the basic principles of refrigeration to demonstrate the principles of a refrigeration cycle. Beside that, we are going to demonstrate the principles of a heat pump too. And we are going to learn about the determination of coefficient of performance. And we are also going to acquire with getting enthalpy values from chart to get coefficient of performance. And last, we are going to explore the heat balance in a mechanical heat pump and determine the refrigeration. And now I'm going to introduce a heat pump by means of thermodynamics. A heat pump is a gadget that exchanges thermal energy from a heat source to a heat sink. Heat pumps can move thermal energy in a course which is inverse to the way of spontaneous heat flow. A heat pump utilizes energy to fulfill the salt energy of thermal energy from heat source to heat sink. Thermodynamics is a science that deals with the relationship amongst heat and other forms of energy. Thermodynamic cycles comprise of a progression of thermodynamic process exchanging heat and work for example, power cycle and heat pump cycle. Power cycle is to convert some heat input to heat output while heat pump cycle is to transfer heat from low to high temperature. Specifically, it depicts how thermal energy is changed over two and types of energy. Figure 1.3 is explaining the change of stages in reference to compression, expansion, heating or cooling. Compression is the absorption of mechanical energy. Expansion is the discharge of mechanical energy. Heating is the absorption of thermal energy. Cooling means discharge of thermal energy. Thermodynamic cycles are usually made out of a few thermodynamic processes such as isothermal process, isobaric process, isochoric process, isentropic process, isenthalpic process, and adiabatic process. In a change of state without heat release is named an isentropic change of state. A change of state is named an adiabatic change of state when there is no heat exchange. Heat pump is a gadget that exchanges heat from a colder zone to a more hot area by utilizing mechanical energy. The difference between heat pump and refrig refrigerator is heat pump plan to keep put warm while refriger refrigerator is intended to cool it. However, heat pump can alter the flow of refrigerant as to change the heat sink to heat source or in other words, the evaporator becomes condenser and condenser, be condenser becomes evaporator. The COP, coefficient of performance calculation, is as COP for refrigerant is Q over W well, COP for heat pump is negative Q over W. Figure 1.4 shows how the heat pump works. Compressor is compressed low pressure, low temperature gas to high pressure, high temperature superheated vapor. Vapor flows into heat exchanger that allows high, temper high temperature refrigerant to reject heat causing the refrigerant to condense into saturated liquid. Liquid moves across an expansion device into a second heat exchange evaporator. Inside heat exchanger, heat is absorbed by the refrigerant, cause the liquid to boil off a completely vaporized state. And last, the process is start all over again. The operation for a heat pump can be shown through the TS diagram for the refrigeration cycle. From 1 to 2, a compressor compresses the vapor whereby mechanical energy is absorbed. From 2 to 3 is the condenser where heat is drawn out from the refrigerant and the medium is liquefied. From 3 to 4, an expansion valve 
relieves the pressure from the liquid refrigerant, thereby cooling it down. And from 4 to 1, an evaporator evaporates the refrigerant with heat absorption. Moving on to the methodology of this experiment. First, you fill two vessels with water of room temperature and measure the mass of water and water temperature with two laboratory thermometers in every vessel. Then, we switch on the compressor. Thirdly, we record and plot the deliberate values on the worksheet for 120, 130, 140, and 150 seconds. Then, we switch off the compressor for 10 minutes and rehash the technique as above for every reading. Moving on to the results and calculations. In this table, all the values for the pressures and temperatures are tabulated and after being recorded down from the experiment. Now for the calculations. Using the PHP and PLP values, which is pressure upstream of the condenser and pressure at the inlet to the condenser, we can obtain the values of log PHP and log PLP. Next, we can find the heat energy drawn out from the refrigerant and the heat energy absorbed by the refrigerant, both in the condenser and the evaporator. We use the changes in temperature to find this value use following the equations you can see on the right. Using the pressure and temperature at each state, we can find the enthalpy of the refrigerant at that point from the chart provided by the manufacturer of the heat pump. Now, given that we have found all the enthalpy values of each point, we can now find the coefficient of performance for refrigeration and the coefficient of performance for heat pump, COPREF and COPHP as shown using the differences in enthalpy. A pressure versus enthalpy chart for the refrigerant is then plotted using the values of enthalpy and pressure that was obtained in this experiment. Now, we'll move into the discussion. First, the experimental procedures are carried out with safety precautions. Lab coats were worn to prevent any hot substances from coming into contact with the skin and stopwatches were used to measure time to increase the accuracy. Next, the data obtained was recorded in a table and then a graph of pressure against enthalpy was plotted using the data from the table. The coefficient of performance for refrigerant and heat pump was calculated from the data. The coefficient of performance for the refrigerant is equal to 5 0.19, which means that 5.19 units of heat is removed per unit work done, and the coefficient for the heat pump is equal to 6.19, that is 6.19 of units heat added per unit work done. Both coefficients are quite efficient because they can add or remove heat in a short time. In conclusion, the coefficient of performance denoted the efficiency of refrigerant systems and heat pumps. Specific to this laboratory experiment, the coefficient refers to the efficiency of heat pumps. This coefficient is determined by the ratio between energy usage of the compressor and the amount of useful heat extracted from the condenser. According to this experiment, a coefficient of performance by heat pump value of 6.19 and a coefficient of performance refrigerant value of 5.19 kilowatt means that the addition of 1 kilowatt of electric energy is needed to have a release of 6.19 kilowatts of heat at the condenser. At the evaporator site, 5.19 kilowatt of heat is extracted. A high coefficient for performance value represents a high efficiency. Therefore, this heat pump can be said to be efficient.